So every so often I run out of video ideas and I kind of fall back on either doing React challenges or just some type of Tailwind CSS challenges. And I've used this iCodeThis.com platform um, a couple months ago. It's pretty cool. It has a lot of different challenges you can do to practice your Tailwind skills. And they have a Christmas thing going on here where they have 24 different challenges as we lead up to Christmas. And you can download the assets here to try to do these challenges. I'm going to try this little footer one. It looks pretty cool. Shouldn't be too hard, hopefully. So if I click this at the bottom, you can see the reference design that we're going for. And then if I click it off, that shows you your current code, right? So right now, all this stuff, we can literally delete it. And then we got a little white square that could be our starting point for right now. Now, I do want to kind of make this my own. The cool thing about iCodeThis.com is it kind of, when you submit your challenges, if you did something more creative, like you could potentially be featured on their homepage. So I'm going to use AI to generate an image. And I'm going to try my own little approach here. I'm probably put the Christmas tree like over here, something like that, or maybe over here on the right. And then I'm just going to try over here. Um, I'm going to make my own little image over here. All right, so let's just make like a little banner here. We're going to go ahead and just move a little Christmas tree over here. I'm going to scale it down a little bit and paste that in there. And I'm also going to grab the background of this Christmas tree. I'm going to try to get as close to this edge right here. Go ahead and paste that in. All right, so now taking that image that I built in GIMP and also a combination of being image creator, I'm going to pass this to a Stability AI SDXL model. And I'm going to give it a little prompt here. So I settle Christmas background with a Christmas tree in the center with a snowy hills on the ground. I'm going to pass it that image I created, give it a width that matches that input image, and hopefully it should give us some interesting output. So let's just go ahead and run this and let's see what it gives us. Kind of like that image. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put that image in here. Let's go ahead and paste it and have that to an S3 file that I have. But we're also going to wrap this in a div. Okay, we're going to wrap this whole thing in a div. And we want this div to kind of be centered. Okay. And then underneath this, let's just go ahead and put another div here. I'll say class is equal to grid and grid calls four. And inside of this, we need four columns. So I'll just put a div here. And we want to put I code miss for the first column. Second column is going to be products. I'm going to come back and fill out with the correct information in a bit. And then client and about. So just so I know what these columns represent, I'm going to do that. All right, so now the issue is like the image and this div, like we want this div to live inside of this. Right, so one way you could do this is I think we can give this image a class of absolute top of zero, left of zero, and then on this div, we can give it a class of relative. And I believe that should put the image inside of that div. Now, I do think the image is hiding this content, so I think we want to put like a negative z index on this so it can be like behind stuff, okay, and then probably give this a width of full. This could be a width of full as well. Um, and then if you were to look at this, there's definitely some padding going on here. So I think on this uh, right here, I'm gonna say padding X of like 20. We'll see how this looks. Also text to white. Now let's just kind of go through the columns. So I'm gonna say find a store. So inside of here, I mean, we should probably give um, an H2 or an H3, whatever. And then we should do some links here. That could be a link. href will just go nowhere for right now. Find a store, do a link. And you'll notice that the first thing is bold, but the other ones are not. So let's go ahead and like make that first one bold. So I'll say class is equal to font bold. We go and then also there's padding on the y direction i think so let's just do padding y of 20 and see what happens okay maybe that's too much uh just do padding top of four maybe eight probably good all right so now uh let's just do the columns we have find a star return policy and contact so this could be another one return policy and contact. Now I probably want to add a little bit more gap between all this stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and just say class is equal to flex, flex call gap of four. 
see how that works in terms of spacing. All right, that was a little bit too much. I'll do gap of two. Now, unfortunately, the contrast here is terrible. Like, it's right over that Christmas tree. So there might be a way to, like, expand the image a little bit and then shift it over to the right. But we'll worry about that in just a little bit. So let's do the same thing for the client. So I'm going to go ahead and just replace this. The client. And uh, we want find a store newsletter cookie policy. So I'll just copy these. Find a store newsletter cookie policy. Okay. Same idea here. We're going to go ahead and just add that flex column. So it looks kind of the same. And then we're going to do the same thing for products where we have cookies, candies, ornaments, and accessories. So I might just copy this whole thing. And we'll say products, cookies, candies, ornaments, accessories. Is that what it was? Ornaments. All right. And then over here we have, uh, we'll do the same thing. And we're just going to put I code mess. And then we have some text here. So this could be like a paragraph tag, maybe. At Icomus, we believe in spreading joy, creating memories. I'll just keep that open. Um, and making every moment magical. I'll just do a break right in here. Why not? And then we'll say embrace the spirit of iCode mess and make your holidays merry and bright and then at the bottom down here they have like a that copyright symbol 2023 i code this all rights reserved just grab that one put that there should be good now this one it looks like we could actually bump this up i think we could do five columns one two three four five because this one kind of takes up two columns right so i think we could do that and we'll give this one a call span of two. So I'm going to go over here. I'm going to say make this five columns. And we're going to say call span of two. And then we just want to reduce the text of everything. So like maybe here we'll say text of extra small. So we have like more. There we go. Looks okay. I'm going to see like I'm going to change the background to blue here. Okay. So like why is this not expanding all the way? So this thing, H of fool. I thought that would make it full screen, but I guess not. Well, I need to put it on the actual like grid. Now on this, I might just give this some uh, padding on the right, padding right of eight or something, just so that the there's space between these two things. Okay. Now hovering over links, I think we should probably have it so when you hover over these things, we're gonna change the background to like green. Or we'll say text green. We'll give like a dark green here. Just make sure this looks okay. Yeah, that looks terrible. Uh, let's just do like a lighter green. Okay, so something a little subtle like that. And we'll do this. Apply it to all of these different links. Now instead of like doing it in code, I might just like scale this up a little bit. Like that. And then position the tree over a little bit. Alright, let's try this one. It's a little bit squished. All right, let's change this one to tree three. And hopefully the image will be over there. All right, that looks a little bit better. Okay, I might reduce the contrast a little bit and also bring the tree down just a little bit here. And let's try this one. All right, so that's my version. Um, I think there's a couple of things I'd probably change about this, but I think this looks better. I kind of made the image a little bit darker so that there's better contrast with the actual links. Um, before is very hard to see the contrast there and uh yeah i mean i think this looks pretty good and i will say as you scale up and down like you probably want to make this responsive and like change it to have a container and maybe make the text size larger as you get to a larger screen but we're just kind of going off of that image reference i think this is pretty cool uh i'm gonna go ahead and just submit this there you have it there's my little submitted thing all right that's all i wanted to do in this video i just wanted to take a little break from coding all the time and just try to focus more on like the artistic side of you know building out web applications the design part of things and just getting a chance to play with ai and just generate some cool images
So that's about it. If you enjoyed watching, be sure to uh, give me a like and also subscribe if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Have a good day and happy coding.